Well, I've been a lawyer for 30 years, um, effective this year, and I never had any idea that my path would take me towards uh, criminal law, being a prosecutor. I was headed for civil practice. I had a job with a major law firm, and it was big dollars and very competitive. I was very fortunate to have received a slot like that, but I realized very, very quickly that that was not the path I wanted to follow. Yeah. And I was very fortunate that on a move to New Jersey with my husband, I ended up working for a law firm that was made up of all former prosecutors doing quasi-criminal um, investigations for companies. And I immediately began to realize that I really did want to have a career doing criminal prosecution. And um, I feel very grateful that sort of fate intervened in, in the path of my career and led me this direction. And it gave me a wonderful overview of really what was going on in all 21 county prosecutor's offices across the state. Uh, we did audits and management reviews. I was fortunate to have incredible female mentors um, who were my bureau chiefs at the division. Um, you know, they were wonderful role models and mentors to me and really um, made themselves available to teach me all that they knew about being prosecutors, what prosecutors should be doing. I was able to carve out a few um, different niches that um, were unique in that practice, including um, being the ethics officer for the Division of Criminal Justice and essentially the, the ethics person that people in all 21 counties would go to for questions and to help resolve issues. Um, I also did a lot of regulatory firearms work when I was there, um, working for the state pol police firearms unit, um, and handled a number of, of uh, gun cases when I was there. So I really, I was not looking for a job um, when this opportunity availed itself, and I'm just really, truly forever grateful that the prosecutor um, asked me to join his team and join this office. It is one of the most fulfilling experiences professionally I've ever had in my life, truly. Uh, the men and women of this office at every single level are incredible. I think more than anything for me to date, I think my swearing in as first assistant um, stands out in my eyes because I didn't realize that being the first woman in the position of first assistant prosecutor would matter so much to so many other people. And it does. I think, I think in some respects it's, it's a little bit of a of a shattering of a glass ceiling um, that, that may have existed for no reason other than there just was not an oppor opportunity previously for a woman to be in that role. But I feel really inspired and honored um, to be that person. And I feel that we have an incredible number of women in this office who saw that moment that was really special to me personally, but it meant something bigger to them as well. And certainly having a, a woman as a first assistant prosecutor or a prosecutor is not unique across this state, but it was a first here in Monmouth County, and I'm really proud and honored to be a part of that. I think the best advice that I could give um, any young person, young woman, young man, um, is to follow your heart, to really, really listen to that internal clock, that internal meter that you have about what you're passionate about. Um, when I was in law school, the classes that I loved and enjoyed the most were my criminal law classes 
but it never occurred to me to pursue a career in criminal law. I may have saved 10 years and, and may have started my career down this path 10 years sooner, but um, I think it's really listening to that internal clock about what makes you happy. And I also think it's opening yourself up to new possibilities, um, maybe exploring paths that um, you never considered for yourself. My first job in New Jersey with the law firm that I referenced that did quasi-criminal investigations, I ended up getting more responsibility because I went to my boss who was chairing a Supreme Court committee on a case involving a guy out on parole who then subsequently while on parole raped and murdered a little girl in Passaic County. It was a horrible case. I could not get what I was reading in the paper out of my brain. I was obsessed with it and it was just horrific to me that this happened when this person was still under supervision. And I went to my boss and I said, I know this isn't the reason that you hired me, but will you please let me work on this with you? I will do it for free. And he needed help. Um, he was glad to have the help, but I think for me, having the courage to walk into his office to say, hey, give me a chance. This is what I want to do. I questioned whether or not I should have even done that, and I'm so glad that I did because it is directly responsible to why I have my career today. What do I do outside of here? Um, I talk to my family who are scattered all across the country, but we talk pretty much every day. Um, my mom, my dad, my sister, uh, my kids who are both away at college. Um, I love to cook. I love to spend time with uh, my two rescue dogs. Um, most importantly, I love spending time with my husband. And I also play words with friends. <laughs> and that's my release. I love words with friends. I do. I have to say I love Homeland. But um, please don't tell me what, what's happened because I'm a couple episodes behind. But I would say Homeland is, is my uh, guilty pleasure. I love it. <laughs>